So basically, the next time you buy a new computer, it's going to look like this. So they basically totally revamped um, the little interface here to do stuff. Probably what you're used to is this, the uh, classic kind of desktop, um, where down here you would have a start button. Actually, they took away the start button. I don't know why they did that, but um, now when you go to click the start button, it'll take you back to this main screen. This main screen is called Metro. Now, you may be thinking, okay, Matt, I'm not a geek, so I don't really care about what the new version of Windows is or, you know, the computer software and all that stuff. Well, you're going to care because the next time you buy a computer, any computer, uh, whether it's a laptop or a desktop, it's going to have this thing on there. And so you're basically going to have to learn how to use it. You know, you're going to have to learn how to use a computer all over again, um, unless you buy a MacBook, but that's like $1,000 a pop. So... Um, actually, they have improved this since the last pre-release because the last time, uh, the developer preview, this is the, um, the consumer preview. So Windows 8 hasn't actually come out yet. They're just uh, pre-releasing it to kind of let you know what it looks like and what your feedback is and, and whatnot. And um, before I had installed the developer preview, and uh, it basically looked like this, but they've actually uh, reworked some of it so that it's a little bit um, easier to use. They put a desktop button right here so you can immediately go back to the classic view um, that you're probably familiar with. And if you want to go back to the Metro style, you would hover your mouse down here in the bottom left corner and hit uh, the little green box thing that pops up. Now in the previous release, whenever you clicked one of these little apps, the problem was you couldn't get out of the app because there was no little Xbox at the top or anywhere to get out of this and to get back to the main screen. And so the only way that you could get back was to actually restart your computer. Now they've, they've fixed that. Um, there should be a little bar here, I think, at the side. I don't see it, but... Yeah, it's still a little difficult to figure out how to get out. Okay, there we go. For here, for Internet Explorer, it's up here at the top, and that will take you back to your desktop. And uh, let's see. Okay, and so now I can go back to Internet Explorer. If I hover up at the top left, it will take me back to the Bing. And if I hover here, it will show me all of my apps that are running. So yeah, they made this a lot better since the last, since the developer preview. As you can see down here at the bottom, this is the consumer preview. Um, and the reason why they've revamped Windows um, since Windows 7 came out is because they're trying to fuse um, a tablet operating system and a desktop PC operating system in one. They're trying to make uh, both kind of cohesive. That's why they have this... Uh, that's why they have this type of interface. This is primarily for tablets. Eventually, they're going to have Windows tablets. You may um, have seen, you know, the iPad and the Kindle Fire and some of the other popular tablets out there. Well, Microsoft is wants to come out with their own tablet, which will look basically like this. Um, but at the same time, they want to put this interface on all of their desktop PCs and laptops as well. So they kind of have want to have an all-in-one um, operating system for all their products. And when I initially downloaded and installed this, I did not like it at all because it was very difficult to use. But uh, since the latest kind of update to their preview for this, for Windows 8, they've actually improved it a lot so that you know you're not, uh, you don't have to reboot the computer all the time every time you launch one of these apps. So have a little weather app here. And let's see, how do I get back? I believe I hover over here somewhere. See, these apps are designed mostly for tablets to be easy to use a tablet. So if you're using a keyboard and mouse, it's oftentimes a nightmare to get around. And I don't know how to get back. Oh, there we go. Now you just hit start, and that would take me back to the main screen. So that's basically it. It's a little bit of a learning curve. 
um, to do this, but, you know, eventually you're just going to have to play around with it and learn it. And whatever new computer you're going to buy, if you buy one, um, it's pretty much going to have this on there. Probably, I'm not sure exactly when they're going to release the final version, but it's probably going to be maybe either this year or next year. So if you buy a laptop, you know, end of this year or um, next year, you're pretty much going to have to learn how to use this. So, yeah, that's it. Just wanted to show you.